rugged north to the beautiful south to the centre. East, west, doesn't matter where. The four wheel drive tips and tricks and travel and information, you have come to the right place. Come for a ride with us at Mud Ducks Four Wheel Drive Tour. G'day everybody, Steve from Mudducks 4 Wheel Drive Touring with another spotlight on campgrounds. Today we're in the Sturt National Park up in Corner Country in northwestern New South Wales. We're at Fort Grey Campground. We'll give you a look at it. It's in a national park of course. It's pretty well four wheel drive only realistically. Although I've seen two wheel drive cars out this way. There's your info boards usual payment honesty boxes how you pay all that kind of stuff so you got twelve dollars per site for one or two persons and six bucks for an extra adult three bucks for child so as i said it's in the sturt national park yeah get a load of this well, it must be because it's desert country there's just no wood fires allowed, so you can't have a campfire. That has changed since I was out here before. Back in the day when I was out here last, you could have fires. But anyway, they obviously don't want you collecting wood anywhere. Uh, and they're worried about what is here. So, it's a big-ish campground. That's just quite big. I've just turned left from the sign that I just showed you. Head out to this rough area here and there's your uh, pit toilets and so on there's a few people camped out there in the distance that you can see I won't go out there and annoy them we're in the whoopwhoop here and realistically you come to these places to not be annoyed by people walking around with cameras but as you can see just over there you're driving there there's a campsite with a table that's pretty cool pan around here to my right a lot of camping in amongst the uh, trees there I'm literally next to one of your sets of drop toilets and out there in the distance where you might see some kids playing with shovels you another couple of camps two camper trailers in there that's a camp kitchen that is shed there and I'm just going to dive through the middle here I'm walking in obviously sections you can camp in this is no actual designated special spots to camp in here it's just some areas look like they've been used more for camping than others so you got a bit of a feel of it so literally around from where those guys are in the camp kitchen it's another big area that's got lots of turnaround it's had vehicles through it with another set of tables and further around again to the right now I'm back on one of the vehicle tracks here there's more so you can actually sort of get the feel of it so 
come here, there's a table. I'm pretty sure most of us are carrying tables and chairs and things, so not a requirement, but I guess it's nice to have. Number one here. And there's a walk back in this general direction. You can see more of them. And another set of toilets. Hope the wind is not too bad, guys. Oh, uh, um, apologies if it is. Can't do much about that. It's been a bit windy out in the desert the last few days. But more tables, more toilets to the right, and another camp kitchen. So that is pretty cool. So I guess your fees are helping to pay for these camp kitchens. So I don't think it's a bad thing. And fortunately, I guess national parks, when you're out this far, can't really be bothered with bollards. But there is the wire fence that ropes the perimeter. So you can't go just camping further and further into the scrub. There's another set of tables way over there in the distance. So my guess is 10 to 20 groups would fit in here. Here's your free gas barbecue supplied. And much like uh, the campground, or another campground I've done, Dead Horse Gully, donations for barbecue gas appreciated. So you're paying fees to camp here, but they still like you to donate if you want to help get donate to the gas. Right. What haven't I covered yet? Oh, access. Well, this is on the road between Tibberborough and Cameron Corner. There's two ways to get here. There's the main Tibberborough to Cameron Corner Road, or you can come through after Tibberborough, go north, and then turn west and go through the National Park tracks, and that will get you here as well. I can't actually recall where the turn off to get into here from there is but you can I've done it previously so uh, I guarantee it's possible so what should be in here what do you do when you get here guys well nothing much um, obviously you can just go bushwalking and see more of the bush uh, otherwise you just camped in a remote area yeah not stupid distance from Cameron Corner so you can certainly venture in there and go to the pub. Or you can just stay in here and enjoy the remoteness. And my guesstimation is if you're out here in anything that's not a four-wheel drive, I think you've got rocks in your head. But you could get out here in something reasonably high clearance with good suspension, good tyres. You get your off-road caravans in here. Camper trailers, as you've seen, tents, swags, all that stuff. You know, no trouble at all. So, not sure what else to tell you. This is just a destination if you didn't want to camp at Cameron Corner at the pub after you've left Tibberborough on your way further west to go to Inaminka and out to the uh, Burrsville and the Simpson and so on. So, it's just a nice campground for that kind of thing. The mic spotlights seem to be getting shorter, guys, but when you run out of things to talk about, you run out of things to talk about, there's not much else I can tell you out here other than you are in outback New South Wales, and that's a great place to be. So I honestly think I will wrap it up here guys and uh, no doubt we will show you more of these things as we go down the track but as always if you did like this clip put a like on it I think I'll be getting too much sun that way so I'll go this way 
put a like on it if you're new here consider subscribing really appreciate the support and to be able to uh, click the notification bell that really makes a world of difference and you'll also know when one of my videos comes out uh, uh, which is pretty all well weekly I'll try to keep doing them weekly while I can and to the old hands as always thanks again guys for taking time out of your day to have a look at one of my clips Hope you guys enjoy this spotlight on campgrounds. I enjoy doing them, and uh, I think uh, I think they're a bit useful for anybody out there. Cheers All the best. See you on the next one. Cheers from Steve and Kaz from Mud Ducks Water Off Touring. Truck's a bit dirty. Camper's a bit dirty. Caravan, keeping the dust out.